Hi and welcome back to the channel and thank you so much for clicking into this video. So in this video, I am going to teach you how to add voting buttons in Outlook. Make sure that you stay until the very end of this video so you don't miss any important step or information. And without further ado, let's get on it. So the first thing that you need to do here, so on the message window on the options tab, if you use the simplified or simplified ribbon, just you click the use voting buttons. So if you don't see these elements on the ribbon, just click on to the um, more commands button. It is the three points to the very right of the ribbon buttons. So after you've done that, just select one of the following right here. So for the approve or check, select this if you only want to receive proposal approvals or rejections for your question or proposal and yes or no so this is the best choice when you want only a clear yes or no and then yes no maybe so this voting option offers recipients a third option and for custom just click this command to create custom names for voting options button so if you choose custom item it opens properties dialog box so in the properties dialog box under voting and tracking options just select use or just select the use um, voting buttons checkbox select and delete the default button names and type your own choices in the use voting box buttons text or use voting buttons text box separated by the semicolons so as you can see right here this is um, an example and after you've done that if you immediately start filling out the use voting buttons text field with your data the checkbox will be selected automatically so by default all replies are returned to the sender so to send replies to someone other than the sender multiple people or even a group just select have replies sent to checkbox and then type an email address or select names or click the select names button to search the addresses so see more about using the have replies sent to option and to set the start and end date and time of voting just select do not deliver before and expires after checkboxes so see more about how to send an email later and then what you need and set the expiration date and time for the email messages so after adding the voting buttons to the outgoing message just outlook displays the message and you added voting buttons to this message above the message header so additional note not every recipient of your email may understand that there are voting buttons in the email that you need to click to vote so just be clear about this in the subject or message body so they know about the voting buttons and you can process responses correctly and the maximum number of voting buttons is 32 and if you have more than 32 buttons or voting buttons in a message outlook discards them all without warning the user so unfortunately at the time of this writing if you send a message with voting buttons from outlook.com account they will not work so this means that you can add these buttons but recipients won't see them in their emails so that's it for this video and i hope this helped you and if it did please make sure to like subscribe and hit notification bell button so you don't miss a video thank you so much for watching and have a great day bye bye